he's award winning speaker and having won accolades in india us uk he loves to mentor and coach young professionals and students in their endeavors making their journey better and beautiful and by the way he is also an author of amazon best seller best selling book which is small town bigger dreams and now he is currently working as an it project manager for india's leading it service provider and he has holding 16 years of work experience and by the way he is also a certified uh, a uh, psm1 certified and now his mission is to empower millions of people by helping them discover their true voice and confidence so have you guys ever wondered that how the storytelling can impact your scrum master journey have you guys ever wondered so that is what exactly we are going to see in this session so let's get ready to explore that and let's welcome our guest speaker one and only one haritosh shivastav hey haritosh welcome to the call hey sabna thank you so much for having me hello everyone good evening good afternoon so storytelling and scrum master now i would i can do this session in two ways and you guys will decide by putting in the chat the one way is which i call is called unidirectional information flow that means that i will just speak and speak and speak and speak and speak and you will be sitting like this ah and the other way is that i will ask you to interact i will ask you to put something in chat i will ask you to even raise your hand and sometimes share your story sometimes share So write in the comment if you want me to be the unidirectional information flow then write one in the chat or write two in the chat if you want to have more interaction okay i see some interaction two 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 amazing okay okay i was wondering if there are any any ones out there thank you so much thank you for allowing me so let's start why storytelling how many of you have heard this buzz was storytelling you need to know storytelling business storytelling personal storytelling why storytelling okay feel free to unmute or raise your hand i don't know how you do in your community but yeah, i see sunil uh, hand so please go ahead sunil and then richard yeah no i mean i i i mean i mean i know this uh, storytelling because uh, i mean i'm from the it background so we we got this uh, in our organization also so it's i mean Uh, i understand this is something uh, we share our uh, personal experience whether it is a professional whatever right and you know, if mm-hmm. we are experience something how we can vocal and how we can talk and how we can express ourselves what we have done it and that is actual one if we, if we can express that that is where uh, you know the story team comes here very well done very well done everybody type well done sunil let's let's have interaction going on Uh, next, I saw Richard raising the hand. So go ahead, Richard. <laughs> Sorry, Richard. I'm not able to hear you. Maybe some problem with your audio. Can audio. you hear me now? Yes, now I can hear you. Yeah, it it does help you to get your perspective out to your listeners and express yourself, explaining your um um, uh, telling your story and. getting your perspective out in a, in a in a nutshell yeah amazing amazing so everybody and that's completely true you set your perspective you set your narrative amazing so everybody now type amazing richard we'll hear one more person which is ruchi so go ahead ruchi hi so uh, my perspective is like if if you are sharing your story so you don't know like who is suffering what maybe the struggles you have already faced someone else is stuck there so you never know your story can be a life changer for anyone if you keep your things beholding with yourself the mm. world can never be changed this is an easiest way to you know make the change happen awesome awesome so everybody what what should we type now uh, rocking ruchi 
I am so pleased, Sapna. I'm so impressed with your community. They don't need me. They already know about Sorry Kalim. <laughs> they are all awesome people, actually. <laughs> I, I can I can sense that. Amazing. So all of you are true. And if we talk about general storytelling, it's all about sharing what is inside us. And sometimes you can talk about is and when it comes to storytelling, there are so many different dimensions. There is, of course, there's a business storytelling, more contextual in our case. There's a personal storytelling. There's a fictional storytelling. There's so many genres, but at the end of the day, it's the perspective from one person to going to another person. And I love that. But we are here, we talk, we want to talk about business. So I thought, how can I talk about business when I'm here? Is let's do some some fun. And I wanted to share with you an amazing experiment. I, I am pretty sure I asked Sapna. Sapna did not know about this experiment. So I thought maybe you guys also may not be aware. And this experiment is all about, it's great. It's good feeling to know about storytelling, but how do you quantify that, right? We are all here Scrum Master. A lot of time business asks, can you quantify that? So how do you quantify storytelling? So it was an amazing study done by two people called Joshua Glenn and Rob Walker and like us they were very very excited like okay great storytelling but how do I quantify that so what they did was they were based out of New York and they went to thrift store they went to like pretty cheap stores and got 100 items and those items costed $128.74 and then they did this experiment called insignificant objects project which means that they said they reached out to a lot of st story writers script writers from hollywood and say we want to check what is the quantitative impact stories can have how much adding story can add value to something as insignificant as something from a store so why don't you write me a story and we'll put it there and we'll see that so the script writers agreed to that and they wrote 100 fictional stories and these Joshua Glenn and Rob Walker went back to eBay and posted the story along with the object's name and put it on auction. Now here is the question for you and that's where we'll have fun. Now I want to know, can you guess what was the percentage increase in the value after stories were added to any object so 100 item bought for 128.74 dollars now can you guess how much was it sold after the stories were added let's look in the chat and let's see who is the closest one okay i don't see anything okay 50 percent 70 percent okay keep keep up keep up still two less 950 percent i love your 950 percent richard okay 100 dollar 85 95 percent 90 percent 100 2 million oh man that's that's a little too much i wish okay 200 percent 240 40 okay okay i'm pretty sure you must be dying to know what happened to this one right so once these objects were put on ebay with the stories 220 dollar okay so okay enough guessing now let me give you the results i think uh, richard was a little too high but let me say that these 128.74 items worth were sold for 3612.51 dollars which means on an average one item's price increased by 2700 percent means the value increased by 27 times right in the chat mb mind blown if you are also blown away with this amazing sats wow first time i heard that my mind was also blown away because a lot of time we, we feel good right it's those amazing things it's good to have but when you understand that and there, there is also a reason that no, there are, our brain is literally hardwired to listen to story. It's a altogether different aspect. 
and I thought I will probably not go, but this one was amazing, 2700%. And interesting one is this pink horse, which the script writer actually went too far, too emotional onto that. He wrote a fictitious story about a father losing her his daughter and then daughter is in the heaven every day he holds the pink horse so that someday the doctor will come back now just by adding that one emotional story that pink horse which was bought for one dollar was sold for 104 dollar and 50 cent isn't that incredible now the question comes how can you learn about storytelling and more importantly how can storytelling help you so this is where i want to ask you because you know we are scrum master we are facilitators we want to facilitate more than tell so i want to ask you how do you think storytelling can help you in your scrum master journey anyone wants to raise the hand unmute Okay, suddenly the room became silent. Okay, do you want me to handpick? Okay, Richard, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, um, if you master the art of storytelling, it would help you become not just a good scrum master, but, but a great one. It, mm -hmm. it will help you go beyond just um, accomplishing your task as a scrum master it would help you engage positively with your team. And then um, it helps you to get beyond the task and get really emotional with them and um, um, exceed the expectation as just um, a team member and um, really um, push the whole task ahead and do beyond the task of the office and um, build. I, I don't know how to put it. You, you do a little extra beyond just meeting the daily task of the office. I think that's the way I'd love to put it. Amazing, Richard. Amazing, Richard. And I, I'll probably put a story which happened pretty much today. So my project, you might uh, you might have noticed, Apna mentioned I'm still working in a IT company. One of my project is going through fire. There's a lot of customer escalation, meetings and all going on. And there's this project manager who's also playing the scrum master role in the offshore. And I could feel that for the last few days, she has been working really, really hard. And all it took for me was to say that Mira, I can sense that you're working really hard. Please take care of yourself. You're doing, if nobody has told you yet, you're doing a great job. Now, just telling these two, three lines didn't, didn't take anything from my pocket. It didn't take a lot of time, but her whole day, I believe, was shifted. Now, we as a scrum master, we have a bigger role. All of you agree to that, right? It's not only about task management and, and just going through user stories and Kanban board. You are also a facilitator. You're also a coach. And I, I sneak peek into what Sapna was saying every morning when you say you should, I am awesome and doing, I'm going to ask you to add a challenge to that and say, pick every day, one team member of you and say, you are doing awesome. Is that doable? Is that feasible? Awesome. So I handpicked what could be some of the scenarios for Scrum Master, as you would feel, this is not a generic storytelling session. It is very much customized for you. And I thought about and I would need your opinion as to do you think it's a valid scenario or not? So I picked one scenario, which is when you're going for interview. Now tell me if you're going for interview, would storytelling help you or not? Type in the chat. Yes or no. Awesome. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Really help. Amazing. Amazing. So can, can we do an experiment? By now, you know that I really do not like the number one that I was telling. So let's have one person, one very brave soul who would like to share their journey. And of course, Richard, 
I'm not going to pick on you. You have already spoken. I would like to hear some more people come and share their story. How has coming to Agile, coming to Scrum Master role impacted you in your life? Maybe personal, maybe professional. So it is sort of an interview, but if you think about it, it is also a storytelling question. So who is that brave heart who want to come here and openly share? Yeah. Okay. Should I pick? Okay, Ruchi, I think is thinking about you can do it, Ruchi. <laughs> Thank you, Haldosh. So, okay, so uh, I would like to tell you here, being a scrum master, I really love the concept behind it. It's about the mindset, which we really need to change. And the more I read about it, I practiced about it. I felt like it is not helping me only in my professional way, but it is also helping me in my, you know, personal life, my day to day things are getting on track. I am uh, able to more help my, like be with my family and uh, my child. And obviously I'm, I'm able to give you know much more to my professional life as well so this is how uh, this is this has impacted me so i just want to take an example here so earlier the work was like the same only but it was not managed i didn't have the mindset i i was not able to uh, you know uh, pick on my priorities so with this come master thing i was able to pick up the priority things i'm able to understand which is more uh, on the priority and which can wait so by opting this i'm i'm uh, i am now a happy family uh, woman as well so this is wow. how this impacted you wow amazing amazing how many of you could see the emotion on ruchi's face and and how she was speaking from her type me in the chat if you felt that i definitely felt that that ruchi is really enjoying this journey that's awesome awesome so now here is one thing i would like to give you if nothing else that you might like to use this formula that can really help you in storytelling journey and uh, and that is called then now and how very simple so then what was happening then before let's take this Ruchi's story itself right what was happening before that maybe Ruchi was not organized maybe Ruchi was struggling in his personal life and her personal life maybe Ruchi was not able to do the most important thing and now what happened Ruchi is able to spend time with her family Ruchi is able to make an impact Ruchi is able to do things she could barely do before and what is the how is when she adopted this agile mindset when she became a scrum master now whenever you're telling a story you can use this very simple formula yet very effective formula simple doesn't always mean ineffective right so very simple but very effective formula and a lot of sales people actually use that you were we would have seen that ad right the one side there will be a fat person and then there will be a, a thin person and they'll say try this powder or try this belt, right? They use the same formula. So whenever you are telling story, whether it's personal story, whether you're telling in an interview, use this formula. What is the formula? Type in the chat, let's see. How many people still remember? What is the formula? Three word formula. Then, now, how? Awesome, awesome. Amazing, guys. 